because it is rhythm, it's movement, it's a vibration, and you are either thinking something that's a message or you are receiving something that is a message. So you receiving dick with your hand or in your vagina or in your mouth, and telepathically he is also sending another message, another energy to you. So whether you know it or not, whether it's high or whether it's low, you are receiving everything that he is. As with astrology, numerology, mentally and emotionally, and even if he hates women, even if he hates vaginas, while he's going up in you and you jacking him and sucking him off, and then you are receiving his vibration, his life force, which is sperm, which is full of death. Death does not have to be an STD. Remember I said earlier, you got all these levels of life and death inside of the consciousness of sperm and the seminal secretions. And when you're dealing with seminal secretions, you're really moving, you're just like an ocean. That is an ocean of very powerful electromagnetic energy that I compare to the ocean with sharks and fish moving around in it. Sperm is just that powerful, so it's supposed to vibrate you and elevate you. But if you are having somebody to hit you, and tap on your cell memory when he's rubbing, when he's touching, when he's kissing, when he's licking, and he's moving in and out of you, he is creating a vibration that sets up a force field. That sets up an aura that taps into chakras that can even send you into and create alternative realities. So that's why I told her, don't do that. Cause she's beating herself up and when you're not around, she's saying what you say. And she believes it, cause she always does dumb shit. You say she do dumb shit. So she do dumb shit, cause that's what her name is. That's what she's calling herself, beating herself in the head, saying she's stupid, she's stupid. And then it's a mantra, she's going back and forth like this, and she's building a vibration to the point that this is normal to her. So that's why we have to look deeper. When, when we are dealing with ourselves, and we deal with the pain of the wounded, heartbroken little girl. So when I looked at her, and I looked at the cubs, and, and, the, and the cubs did that, and I just remember I started crying, I started walking, she's not coming, my mom's not coming, she's not coming, she's not coming to get you, she's not coming to get, wake up, she ain't coming to get you, she's not coming to get you, get yourself, get yourself, be your own mama, take care of yourself, look out for yourself, hold yourself, listen to yourself, she's not coming, she ain't coming to get you, you right where she put you fucked up, she laughing about the shit, encouraging you to be more fucked up, and do more dumb shit. And you sitting here crying, whining, trying to get her approval, hope she gonna love you, hope she gonna wake up one day, hope she gonna do the right thing. And she can't tell you stupid, you fucked up, you ain't gonna never be shit. So it's just like I start watching, wake up, snap out of, you got to save yourself. 